Okay, guys. Um, got a DVD player. It's actually the kids' one. Um, they are complaining it doesn't play anymore. Um, takes a long time to load up. So we're going to have a quick look at it. Um, I'll just quickly demonstrate. I've plugged it in. Um, that's it. Hello. Yep. Loading. And still loading. Mm. Okay, I've just got the cover off. Mm, a bit dusty. We'll have it cleaned off in a minute. Okay. There's a little bit of dust in there. Let's just switch it back on again, shall I? Um, load it up. And spin it up again. Very good, no disc already. Okay, well, this is what they do. A uh, repair engineer comes out and he'll have a look at it and he'll clean it off. Now, then, I'm going to go one extra step further. I'm going to use my air compressor. Um, we're going to blast it out with the airline. As we see, um, then we'll do the other method which the actual engineers use when they come to your house. So first of all we'll get the disc out. Turn the power off. Okay. Let's get the other crap and muck out of it. Okay, starting point. Now then, that's always good to do that with TVs as well. Uh, LCD TVs, normal TVs. Um, they tend to get a lot of dust in it, and then one day you'll switch it on and the TV will go bang, and that'll be it. What the dust is doing is it's shorting out on your main boards, on your caps, and your other devices, and it causes. Um, electricity to track across it and that's when it goes bang so if you take the cover off and blast it out it will just save that from doing that and blowing up again right let's switch it on okay yeah it's going to auto sync it's part of a routine thing it does just to check there's anything in there there's no disc right we're going to open it up now then word of warning um, actually it'd be best to switch it off and leave it off there word of warning lasers are dangerous to the eye do not look into a laser um, won't do your eyes much good now we're going to drag the laser mechanism forward and just spin the gears and we should actually if you're lucky if you can get in there it's not easy just spin the disc, uh, little gear wheel, and the laser. Hmm, just about see it. Well, it's going to be a little bit tricky getting hold of this one. Right. The trick is, don't bother using any disc cleaners. They just don't work after a while. Use a pencil. Use the rubber. Now then, don't worry too much and don't press too hard if you can get the pencil in there looks like I'm not going to be able to try that um, oh ok I'll just take this off it's just a top cover shield that's all it is and bearing and that one there that's that one that one and it comes off that's all it is just a rattly old bearing when the, um, the disc mechanism will come up and it will press the disc into this and centralize it so that's all that is nothing special there 
Right, okay, we're now looking at the laser with the pencil. And the lasers, you'll notice if I just do this, you see they move. They're supposed to move. They move either way, up and down. And it helps centralisation and it helps the laser to pick up with a disc. Now then, with a pencil, rubber, just gently rub the top of the lens and the laser. Not too hard. Don't do it too much damage. <laughs> Quick blow on it. Um, <coughs> put that back in again. So it's just a standard bearing, and that sits in there. And two screws. That one there. That one. Now then, let's pick a DVD, pop it in, and switch it on. It will resync itself because it's part of an interlocker of safety. You hear it squeak. loading and there it goes straight away and then you can see it's playing already so I don't need to touch it and that's it, your disc is spinning out now we'll just eject it and check again with another one Loading. That'll spin up fast. I'm not sure what to do with that disc. Uh, it's gone to roots. So I can only assume that it must be an advert, um, like a pre release video. And that's it, and it's plain. Simple. So for chucking it out, keeps it all going again. And that's all the engineers do. Apart from using compressed air line, they don't do that. They'll just blow it out with a puff and a blow. Uh, the old pencil rubber trick always gets it going again. No point using any other cleaner, it's just a waste of time and money. Okay, thanks for watching.